right, happy day 10. Um, let's do a little flow together. This one will focus on shoulders and uh, the neck a little bit as well. Um, so as we do these moves, it's just really important that you're not pushing through pain on uh, the closing angle side, right? So if I was gonna tip my head to the side, this shortening angle, if I felt a pinch there, I would wanna back off a little bit and goes for all our, our shoulder moves as well. Um, so just go ahead and come to a tall standing position. Lift your toes and spread them out and set them back down. And uh, just start to go for uh, a feeling of taking up space. So the feet really rooting down, the crown of your head extending upwards, but then also in this lateral plane, um, really feeling a sense of expansion in your breathing. Good, and then shrug your shoulders up towards your ears and uh, scrunch them up and then melt and relax them down. And do that one more time, scrunching the shoulders up and relax them down. And then just lean to one side. You can let your hand slide up and just breathe into the touch of your hand. And then reverse. Just feeling your ribs start to spread apart, getting a little more space to breathe into. Uh, let's do that in a more dramatic way. So you'll circle your arms overhead. Arms could be a little forward of your head. And then just make sure you kind of comb your front ribs back into your body and lean out and over to our first side first. <laughs> and keep rooting down through your feet and then coming through center into your second side. And just going for that long side body stretch. Again, the arms could be forward of your head. Keep lengthening your tailbone towards the floor and then coming up and relax the arms down. From here, we'll just bend the elbows so your thumbs just kind of tap onto your shoulders. Circle your elbows forward, up to the ceiling, wide apart and down. And doing that a few more times in this direction so you're painting as big of a circle, pain-free as possible. Um, are definitely going for pain-free range of motion. So as big as is uh, possible for you. And then you're making sure you're nice and stable through your uh, torso so we don't move the rib cage. Let's go in the opposite direction. <laughs> Just waking up the body a little bit. Maybe you're doing this first thing in the morning, like me here. <laughs> just kind of greeting your body for the day. This is also a nice one to do um, before bed at night. Um, okay, so you can come down and do cat cows or if it's appropriate for you, you can have blocks in front of you. You tuck your chin in towards your throat and then your arms are just like weights and you round down, let your knees be soft. Keep your tailbone tucking towards the floor until your hands come all the way down to blocks or the floor. I'm just taking a round of breath, bring some weight into your hands. Let the crown of your head really release towards the floor, opening up the back body. Keep your tailbone tucking down towards the floor for now. And then slowly we'll reverse out of it. So tucking the tailbone and just stacking your vertebra one by one uh, until you come all the way to an upright position. Good. And then um, we'll take uh, a little bit of a twist now here. So you can take a block. Um, I'm gonna attempt to mirror here. So in your left hand, you can cross left ankle over your right as an option. It'll make it a little trickier with the balance. So you can skip it as you need. And then you take the block to the side of your head and your right arm forward. Stand tall. You're just gently resisting the block into your head and then turn open to the left and look out over your left shoulder, and then turn back to center. And do that two more times. So we're trying not to move the pelvis, which is why we cross the legs. That kind of blocks the pelvis from rotating. And then just see, okay, I'm gonna do a fourth one. <laughs> How much you can rotate over to the left. Good, and then coming back to center, we'll switch and take the second side. So right ankle crosses in front as an option, block uh, in the right hand, resisting against the right side of your head. 
and then use this resistance as it strengthens the side of your neck. You can maybe lift and feel a little taller. Stabilize at the front body, left arm reaching forward, twist to the right. And then derotate facing back forward. So uh, we've blocked the pelvis. We've also blocked the cervical spine, your neck, with the resistance work of the block. So we're really targeting how much can your rib cage rotate open to the right here. I have a feeling of my left toes really trying to reach back, excuse me, right, as my opposite hand trying to really reach forward. Good, okay. And then we'll release, set the block down, and come back to uh, uncrossing your legs. And then um, you'll, we'll do just very gentle neck stretch. So you can take both sides of your, your hands to, both, both of your hands to the side of your chest under your collarbone. And then uh, just go tall, tip your head a little bit away from your hands. And maybe lift your gaze slightly. So we're just going for a stretch along the front of the throat, but keeping the back of your neck long all the while. Go for a place that feels really breathable here for you. And then we'll release and come to the second side. So tipping, you kind of block this in place, holding under your collarbone, tip your head away, and then maybe lift the gaze slightly. And just going for that line of stretch on the front of the throat while staying tall along the back of your neck. So no closing angle pain here. Good, coming back to center. You can take a little wobble and then go upright. And from here, we'll just tip our head over to the side. So uh, here you can um, mirror, do it with me, tipping to the left. Left hand could come to the top of your head and it lands like a feather. So it's very light. And then you just give a little resistance work of your head, trying to push up into your hand Go for just like 5% of your strength, 10%, something very gentle and breathable. And we're just feeling a little bit of uh, isometric contraction while lengthening the upper trapezius. And then melt the effort. Let your feather hand slide off and your head bobble back. And then the second side. So you're just tipping over, keeping the closing angle side of your neck still long. I imagine I'm lifting my the whole of my ear up towards the ceiling. And then right hand can land like a feather. Option to find a little bit of that strengthening action of your head lifting up into your hand. Go for less. I have a lot more tension on this side, so um, you know, I'm really mindful to not overdo it. And just uh, work at a place that feels doable. <laughs> And we'll let that back off, right? Something that you could repeat. You don't want to go, uh, you want to slow and steady with the neck here. Um, okay, let's come uh, to downward facing dog. Uh, so move your props out of the way, sweeping the arms up and overhead. And then exhale, come to your forward fold. Bend your knees a lot so you can plant your hands and step back into downward facing dog. And feel free to wiggle, bend one knee and then the other. Reaching up and back through your hips. And then just as you're ready, we'll shift forward into a plank pose. In plank, get a nice wide back body, breastbone reaching forward, heels reaching back. And just hold for a couple breaths as is appropriate. You could also come onto your knees or elbows, but just kind of waking up <laughs> this uh, core stability of front body lifting to back body. And then we'll transition down to the belly. And uh, we'll keep the head down from here. Um, let's see. <laughs> Hi, Boone. Um, so from here, we're going to lay down forehead on the mat. And I want you to really resist the back bend here is uh, number one. We're looking for a stretch across the front chest muscles. So forehead down, right arm to the right. 
left hand, left elbow bend so your hand comes in close to your rib cage. And then first I want you to resist your pubic bone down. Imagine you're trying to scoop your belly off the floor and then bend the left knee and uh, lift your left foot up and over to the right. So we've come into a twist, but you know, resist the back bend, strengthen your front core. Left hand is helping to push you over till you feel a stretch in your right chest. Your right hand could move a little higher or lower than the line of your shoulder. Just go for a place that's interesting. You might roll towards the side of your head then. And from here you can push both hands slowly into the floor so that we're lengthening the right chest with um, some strength as well. Good, and then let the right hand win to push you back to center. Left arm straightens out right, elbow bends in. Scoop your belly away from the floor, and then you bend your right knee, tip it over to the left to come to the twist. My right hand is helping me, and I'm just going as far as feels good in my left chest tissue. And there can be a tendency for the shoulder blade to really creep up <laughs> towards your ear. So the, you, you wanna kind of intentionally keep the shoulder blade on your back body. Lengthen your tailbone towards the bottom of the mat. And then you can start to push into both hands and just feel that strengthening action at the, um, the left chest. Good, and then we'll go one more round. So left hand wins to push you back to center and we stretch the right chest out again. I'm just taking two big rounds of breath here. And then push into your right hand to take you back through center. One more time, stretching the left. Tailbone long towards the bottom of your mat. Front core is on, breathing. Left hand wins, pushing you back to center. Okay, take your time. We'll come back up through hands and knees maybe and then to downward facing dog. And uh, reaching your hips up and back. And then Uttanasana, walking hands and feet together. You can do that rolling up action through your spine or come up with a flat spine as you need. As you come to stand, sweep the arms up and overhead. And then hands together and down in front of your heart. Take another inhale and then exhale to release. Okay, we'll do one big circle with our shoulders now. Um, so your right hand could be on your ribs or your collarbone. You firm your left elbow, sweep it forward and up overhead. This is external rotation. And then you'll hit a stopping point where you turn the palm forward and out to the left and keep reaching out and back behind you for internal rotation. So you keep trying to rotate as you take the arm back behind you. And then you can rest for a moment with your hand back by your side, grow tall again. Push the uh, left hand back, externally rotate, palm sweeping up over, uh, open to the ceiling and coming to frame your face across the midline and down. Good, let's do the second side. So just taking your time to sweep the arm forward and up. Tricep wrapping towards your face as you reach the arm up overhead. And then really pause there. Notice your range of motion. Comb your ribs towards your pelvis. And then internally rotate, turning the palm forward and out to the right. And then you're trying to keep the arm reaching out as far away, making as big of a circle as possible. Keep going for internal rotation here. Freeze at that last point, and then you can rest with your hand by your side. Re-strengthen the front body. Lift your hand as high as you can. Externally rotate, and then sweep the arm forward or out to the side up. Always can cut out a piece of the circle as you need. Cross the midline and down. And then just uh, relax for a second in Tadasana. Just take it easy, easy Tadasana. Let your eyes be soft or close and just notice how your body feels here. 
Maybe your shoulders feel just a little more relaxed, right? So we wanna just let the shoulder blades rest neutral, not pulling them up like we can do a lot when we're working or really aggressively pulling them down. That can also create some uh, tension and issues, but they're just somewhere in the middle <laughs> and ready to move around. <laughs> uh, all right, thank you so much for practicing with me today.